It's the Dragon Sail Puppets Variety Show. Starring Sorinda, Bruce, Catatonia, and Henri. Featuring the Dragon Sail Puppets Band. Anchors away. woman able to come out on stage and inspire all of you tonight. <laughs> Lord, oh, we just about had another nightmare scene in customs at the boat dock. Lord, will they hurry the hell up and just legalize the toke in all 50 states already? 
Now, Serena don't care personally. <laughs> oh, her body is a temple, <laughs> sloshing around with slim and shakes. <laughs> no demon smoke passeth these lips to coat this vocal box, which delivers up the great gift from the gods. <laughs> no, it's just that I've just about had it with certain members of this band nearly landed all of us in the clink with their paraphernalia. <laughs> I don't know how we escaped this time. I think Stormcloud just swallowed everything again. Which no doubt affected his performance in the song you just heard. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be furious when I see the playback. <laughs> but I'm too blessed to be stressed right now, babies, because I'm free to be with all of you this glorious evening. <laughs> and saints be praised, I think we may have solved the cue card problem for that brute. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, silly hound. <laughs> No, I didn't mean to call you onto the stage. I was just talking about you behind your back. Oh. But since you're here anyway, <laughs> this is a chance for us to test these double-sized poster boards Chi-Chi got at the Pinch My Penny. Now, dog, can you see... Look over here, dog. No. Now, can you see that sign she's holding up right now? Lift it up high, Chi-Chi. Oh, yeah. Now, what does it say? We all need herpes. Heroes! We all need heroes. Oh, Lord, we can't write big enough for you anymore. You gotta get glasses the next time we dock as Oh, you. no, no, I can't wear those. I have to look sexy. Oh, uh, yeah, and besides, you'll knock them off your fool head two seconds into the first song anyway. Okay, the next entry onto the corporate account is contact lenses for you. <gasps> and Chi-Chi's going to tie your hands and feet to a chair to keep you from squirming while she drops them on your eyeballs oh, every night. Oh no, that's how evil monsters put microchip dealies on you so they know everywhere you go. Well, they, they, they already know everywhere you go, you silly hound, because I've got you on hidden camera at all times. Oh. Now, don't you feel better? Uh, yeah. Okay. Then go get ready for the next segment and don't fall off the stage. <laughs> and now, everyone, I must be off. <laughs> so, everyone, we have a really great... Ah! Oops! Oh, God. Lady, I'm so sorry. Please don't file a claim. We'll get you a free night at the Clam Bake Buffet, I promise. Chi-Chi, get that coupon together, would you? <laughs> anyway... We've got colorful energy and lunar vibe with us tonight. Because we know you like your vibing energy. <laughs> now, I'm going to go see whose neck I need to bring backstage right now. And i see you on the other side. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, uh, what's that smell? Oh, hussy, come in here scaring the shit. Oh, hello, everyone. <laughs> Did my redolent, intoxicating aroma draw you in? Well, that's just my honeysuckle passion. Envious of my glamour, my je ne sais pas, my stalkers, my six trash bags full of crazy-ass fan mail every day, my inability to get a cup of coffee without waving my Nancy Reagan special in the air. Well, then try my honeysuckle passion. We spend hours upon hours in the brewing facility, batching up just the right mixture of exquisite fragrance and omega-3 fatty acids to make honeysuckle passion the miracle that it is. It's comforting and sweet like your grandmother, but also spicy and wild like a sudden encounter that sends you rushing to the free clinic the next day. Lord, better get things checked out, right? <laughs> I don't know. I guess being adored is better than being stuck in my stateroom like that cat woman. Writing a book about that guy what wrote Moby Dick. You know that big ass book everybody reads at least 30 times in their lives. I mean, why? <laughs> you know she's never gonna finish that book. So if you don't mind toting a pistol at the PTA to fend off the love starved crazy, he's caught in the bird netting, isn't he? Well, I'm not even gonna look behind me. <sighs> Then try my honeysuckle passion, honey. You'll still have all the same crap to deal with, but you'll sure smell pretty.
Well, Chi-Chi, you didn't tie him down tight enough, did you? Because you can't just use a couple of flipping bread ties. It takes thick rope and every Boy Scout knot in the book to hold that dog down if you're going to... Oh, hell, hold on. Everyone, oh, we're all just a little flustered right now, so I think we'll play something soothing to the song. Rescue us, colorful energy, Lord. <laughs> Hold it up. Why? Because some people say I need eye help, dealies, and I beg to eschew. I can read just fine. In fact, I can do it with one eye shut. You just watch me. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, yes, that very obviously says, park it over, Aunt Irma. You need glasses. No, no, my eyes are perfect. It's everything else that's fuzzy. Why, just look at the state of the world. I'm over here. Polemical unrests, shaky dealies everywhere, quicksand in parking lots, children dressed like little furry gnomes, chickens, chickens everywhere you turn. Well. And I'm sick of the rain. Why don't you use your hoodoo voodoo to make things sunny? Well, you can't invoke the gods for every little thing. And why is that? Because they think you're being snotty. Hey, and where are all my little gummy bears anyway? You don't remember? Um, hmm. 
You poured them into all my pockets when the customs agents started coming after us. Ah, no, that's right. Yes, yes, uh-huh. So they're somewhere in my room now. Oh, well, yes, I think you must now confiscate them to surrender them unto me now, please. Well, it's not that simple. Oy vey, brute. Surrenda says it would be better for me to trade chocolate bunny ears for them. But that's blackmail! That's excoriation to the utmost degree! Well, I don't know how many times being adorable is going to keep me out of jail. You know, there's not real chocolate in those bunny ears anyway. I know. Because you had a problem. Yeah, well. It was ugly. Yeah, well. When Catatonia started giving me the new improved chocolate bunny ears, I knew they tasted like Alaskan salmon. Plus, there's a picture of Mia Farrow on the package. Who? I'm not sure. Sorinda says it's some hussy doing a side hustle. Introduce the guest, honey. Oh, uh, okay. Everyone, we want to introduce to you... The groovy, jazzy, awesome dealies of Lunar Vibe! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
clancy, hun, you on speakerphone. Yes, spin without the lie. But then you've got to return. Well, can't you just hose him down like the last time? I don't care why he's covered in bacon grease. Just hose him down, and he could just show up at the show's closing and look like the wet mongrel that he is. Look, I gotta see what pathetic situation Georgia's got herself in now. On my dime, Lord. All right, hussy. You got your earbuds crammed up in there? Hello. My name is Mary Jane. I'm an Android model for 20. I'm calling you from outer space. Well, well, of course you are. I am running for an intergalactic congress, and I want you to vote for me. Uh, well, I'm running for head shantus of the deep seas, honey. <laughs> One back scratch gets another, you know. What is your name? Surrenda. Remember that name, hon. Surrenda. Surrenda is a fascinating name. It is. I think that after my presentation, you will surrender immediately and cast your vote. <laughs> oh, hon, you just made me laugh. <laughs> the very idea that I would surrender anything to anybody. Oh, you, you, you just lightened my load, hussy. Thank you. <laughs> Are you human? Lizard? What kind of alien are you? Well, you ain't even bought me two drinks and you're asking for all my intimate info, ain't you? <laughs> but I'm the star of the Dragon Cell Puppets, so you do the math. Puppet? No problem. I will tell you what I will do for the puppets when I become a member of the Intergalactic Congress. First, we'll remove all the hinges and threads that pull you. I will vote for complete freedom for puppets. Hmm. That sounds pretty nice. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some relief from this hand what's all up in my dress all the damn time, that's for sure. Also, I have an economic plan focused on restoring puppet jobs lost during the big cosmic crisis. I will establish a guaranteed livable income and I have promises to slow down the pace of wig tax. Will you vote for me? Well, now, how do I know you're not just doing this because you lost your job as a school bus driver after you got caught huffing craft glue? I mean, what are your credentials? I'm currently working on the Red Eye spacecraft as a computer control and navigation system. And why is it called the Red Eye? Our team, the Groove Trek, specialize in creating groovy environments and joint tasks. These actions increase blood flow to the eyeballs and cause them to turn red. Hmm, I think I got it, huh? Well, I'm sure used to toked up honey glazed hussies, that's for sure. <laughs> But I can relate to the groovy environments, because that's what Surrender's all about. You know, go funky or go home. We're here to warm the floor. <laughs> you catch my wave. Ah, push. Ha <laughs> ha, now you're cooking with gas. <laughs> Thank you for voting for me, Surrender. I will do my best to make puppet life better. Uh, well, I figure it's no skin off my honey, honey. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, I know. You ain't telling me nothing I don't know. <laughs> it's tea time, honey. And the tea stands for tea. You know, the kind you sip while slipping shade. No, I don't like to drive the steak. I really wish they'd give me a break, but what's the odds of that sugar? <laughs> I forgot to ask if you want sugar. First off, stringy hair. Freaks of nature try to blow out the place with too much of too little. They call it music, call it expression. I call it regression. I mean, I mean, why would you go to all the trouble to lay something down if you ain't gonna lay it down funky? Why acerbate when you can undulate? What? Here they come. 
Major, minor, four more, screaming like they going to war. You heard it all before, these licks. They mad because they late with the fix. But honey, we here to warm the floor. No more, no more, no more. Because it's tea time, honey. And the tea stands for tea, you know. Tea on up to hit the ball. I got one that I be knocking on to the green. Got my hair up in the bun, make that son of a gun a holy one. And secondly, ugly ass freaks of nature who dress in the dark, who shave in the dark, who rouge in the dark, who pierce in the dark, who tap in the dark. No, it's really got limited time. You ain't exactly serving up the sublime with all that. I need pretty. Oh, here she come, fresh out of the grave. And I simply must rebuff. Lord, why you want to look like that? You be looking like that all soon enough. Oh, Georgia girl, try to entice. Gather all that up behind the gate. It'd be so nice. I don't get it. Little allowance of prevention. I know that I projected myself across many of the mentions. That many said I was ill-suited to travel in the flesh or in these hills. <laughs> now how's she hauling all over the fence? Well, honey, the mind reels, don't it? <laughs> what? But what I'm saying is in the midst of the storm, I found my ball. Something lost, found its call. So why are you parked outside all Jekyll and Hyde and packing heat? You bear your teeth? I hide the teeth. Because it's tea time, honey. And a T stands for trouble, you know. The kind you get where stupid people got more ammunition than they got food in the kitchen. And thrice people who let them breathe instead of cutting off their feed. My heart, it skips a beat and tears when a church pronounced them married. Here we go again, I say. More cherry bombs in the toilet, more gunpowder in the bean dip. Serena's so too blessed to have it all pressed and fitted to a bulletproof vest, but I guess I'll. What's that unspooling in the swimming pooling? Lord, don't go near the water. I don't get it. Why can't all these fools keep it all in play? Their heart falls in juicy love and their brain shoots out the back way. I say, if you can't touch it or feel it, if it don't look you in the eye, or at least give off a gas. It just might be morass. Sugar, I've been smack that minute, and I've been right next to it, and I've been far enough to barely view it, and I have learned from all them three. And now my brain might entertain your claim there's something special about your pain, but my brain, it answers only to me. <laughs> oh, we round the bend. Round the bend. I know you've been wondering since the begin how it would end. Well, it ends with tea time, honey. And the T stands for tea. Go on, pull up a chair. Have another cup with me. I know I'll hear it from the gallery. And did I tell you how much the stringy-haired critics make me granitic? You know, sanding the drawers, chafing all that's dearly yours. <laughs> but Lord, I've been on the roofs at dawn, and I've witnessed the city of life. And I thought to dive down into it like the bespangled bird of night. But that was far beyond my grave. But in dreams, we mix the shades. Now see, see they probably got a problem with my poetry. Nah, she can't go to the mountaintop. She gotta stay down low with all her friends from the freak show. Tell us all about her terror, a Velveeta flame and her dripping mascara. Or little Miss Petrie Delish at the potluck with her covered dish. Oh, that's why I never go to those things. I forgot to ask if you want sugar.
many thanks to my auspicious houses for attending another one of our nutrient dense events. <laughs> and now, we really must thank Lunar Vibe and Colorful Energy for gracing our show tonight. <laughs> and now, do the head Chanteuse here a favor and go live in life. Or oh, suck it up, <laughs> Sorinda's gowns, courtesy of the Pinch My Pity Markdown Rack. Wardrobe consultation by Chi Chi's Productions. Personal assistant to Sorinda, also that drag queen from Guatemala. Special promotional consideration by Georgia Hot Flash. Sorinda's fragrance, Honeysuckle Passion. Now made by little retired gnomes in the rec room of Sorinda's apartment complex. <laughs>